actually talking about rain and snow. Now a lot of this has melted upon impact. You know, we still have some side streets though, that sloshy, yucky mess, but the meaningful moisture and all that wintry weather that has pulled on out of here. Well, far south and east of the city, we still have a few trailing sprinkle showers here or there, but nothing as meaningful from what we were dealing with earlier this morning. Out toward Newton, Jasper County still had that steady light rain, but as we look at the next couple of hours, that's where we'll see a bulk of the precipitation in this morning farther south east everywhere else, especially on the Illinois side will be very, very quiet. Temperatures on the flip side climbing rapidly a very warm, mild February day, and that's going to bring us in with some lighter rain showers in the early part of the afternoon. Eventually deeper this evening as colder air settles in a cold front comes through. We'll be looking for some scattered snow showers later on tonight, but most of that winds down just by about 11 midnight or so, but by tomorrow morning, on the Indiana side of the lake. We've got some lake effect snow, clouds and sunshine. and We are back in the freezer again. Temperatures this morning, upper 30s, near 40 degrees. High temperatures reaching the low to mid 40s. So a nice mild feel for the day. Also gusty breezes, but then eventually those southwest winds turn right back around, ushering in that colder air, 7 a.m. temperatures. I mean, this is a true definition of weather whiplash. We've got numbers in the single digits, low teens, for the start of your Saturday morning, but from there on out, we're going to start a really nice warming trend. Tomorrow is actually going to be the coldest day of the next seven. Right now, cloudy 38 degrees, winds coming in from the southwest at 13, gusting to 23 miles per hour. We're headed to a high of 42 today, about 20 degrees colder tomorrow, a high of only 20, 23 by Sunday. But take a look at this, a really nice warm up on the horizon, 29 for Valentine's Day. We'll see sunshine through most of the week, and then by Wednesday into Thursday, that's going to be our next system that we'll be monitoring closely. High temperatures right around 50 degrees. You see that, you know something's going to be up with the weather. We've got a fall temperatures for Thursday, rain snow mix, but for the most part, as we get those 50s back in play, just looking at plain rain out there.